Hey y'all, uh, hey, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's feeling good and great and grateful and at peace. Be grateful and be at peace. Grateful and at peace. Oh, that, that's like a something that you have to work on all the time. And I'm saying because I'm definitely to do it right now for myself. Because it's oh Lord. <laughs> grateful and at peace. That's why I'm talking. One day I was walking down the block. I had my cut off shorts on, right? Because it was crazy hot. I walked past these dudes when they passed me. One of them passed my booty. He was nasty. I turned around red. Somebody was catching the rap. The little one said, yeah, me bitch the laugh. See, so when his boys, he tried to break fly. Huh? I punched him dead in his eyes. I said, who you calling a bitch? You in 19 why? You and I T Y, that's a unity. You and I T Y, love a black woman from infinity to infinity. You and I T Y. Well, y'all know how to do that. Just jump right into it. And today is sex <laughs> tip <laughs> Tuesday, bitch. Sex <laughs> tip. Bitch. So look, so look, first of all, I want to, I, my first thing is to, to guys, right? Say you have this girl, like she's a she's uh, a friend of yours, she's an associate. Uh, you may have known her for who knows how long. You just you known her from school, or you just know her, right? Or from she from around the way. Y'all have like a um, a nice connection, you know. Y'all like each other. Y'all like to be around each other, whatever. So y'all, you you know, y'all friends, associates, however y'all want to categorize it. Uh, but in your mind, like you feeling her, whether you feeling her, you want to fuck her, you feeling her, you want to get to know her, like have her as your girl, fuck her. Cause you know, it all based down the fucking, you know, at the end of the day, like, come on y'all, let's do that. So, and because, you know, y'all spend a lot of time together, you know, y'all you, get to know each other and what, and all and whatnot. Let me tell y'all something that you don't do. <laughs> Don't be telling her about your other females unless you, if you're trying to fuck, like, no, it can turn some, well, it all depends. Everybody is different, but it can turn some, some, some women off like, oh, okay, I see, I see how he moved. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know how he, how he moved with women and, and how he treat them. So it's best to not go into no details about nobody that you've been fucking with. No, like, you know, keep... Keep that shit like on the little. If you play, like I said, if it's somebody that you interested in fucking, somebody you interested to get no on a personal level as your girlfriend and, and fucking, like you know, because it's all based down with that. Keep your mouth fucking closed. Let me tell y'all a, a a quick story of my situation. It was this guy. Me and him was real cool. Like he was, um, cause y'all know I'm originally from Flint, and um. You know, he was, he dressed nice, nice ass body, handsome, funny as fuck. And of course, you know, because we was friends, one day he was like, you want to see my dick? I was like, okay, yeah, right. You know how dudes always want to say, oh, fuck it, go ahead, show it. You know what I'm saying? Most dudes who got it, you want to show it, they got a bit. His dick was crazy. I was like, oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? But this motherfucker, the way that he told me how he used to manipulate women and all the shit that he used to do. And I was just like, ain't no way. I'm not even fucking you. Like, for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, like, how he moved. Like, and I also, let me tell y'all something, bitches. Don't think that just because you ain't no different. Now, for some, it depends on, a man can kind of change. Can he? Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? He's still going to be who he is. But for me, it was a no. I was like, no. You know, then he tried to like at the no, honey. I already see how you get down. Like, mm mm. And then he realized I was fucking him. He was so funny. He said, "Why well, I went found somebody who looked just like you?" I said, "Oh Lord Jesus, <laughs> like, this dude was crazy as hell." But we still cool to this day. But I know how he get down with women. Like this motherfucker with that big old dick. Like, oh my god, the big old bitch. When I say a big old dick. Let me tell you something about big old dicks. <laughs> Especially if from Flint. I did not know that. Nothing. I'm just saying, I ain't fuck everybody in Flint, bitch. Don't do it. I know how. I ain't no prostitute. <laughs> but I didn't know that black men had little dicks so I moved to New York. I'm just saying. Because I have experienced, came across some 
black man with some real little dicks. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Where you get that from? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. But anyway, that's nothing here though. There. So that was my tip for my men, right? Keep your mouth closed if you're somebody that you're interested in engaging in a sexual relationship or maybe you want to take it a little further. So keep your mouth closed about the other women or women that you're dealing with. Mm -mm. Um, and uh, for my ladies, I've shared this before, but I have to keep telling y'all this because it's important. Like if a guy like you and you know a guy like you, you may just have this motherfucker in the friend zone. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like, he just may be in a friend zone. But you know he like you. It's best to keep that motherfucker right there. Why is it best to keep him right there? Because he going to do everything that he can to make you happy. Do everything. It's this one dude who I know want to get with me, whatever. Got a wife and all that. So that's why I don't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? But whatever I ask for, he be like, he be overly um nice to me. What you need? What you want me to do? What you... And I just be like, oh, okay. Let me take it. You know, you take advantage of the situation. Not like in the way, because he's volunteering. Like, that's not like I'm coming like, yo, can I borrow $15,000? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't no shit like that. He volunteering, honey. Because he wants to, he want to be with a bitch so bad. So bad. Real bad. Bad, bad. That he'll just, he be going over, like, overextending himself. So, if you got somebody that you know that you're not interested in, or maybe if it's somebody you is interested in, because I think, too, like, you bitches be fucking too quick. Now, but it's all up to you. If you if you with somebody and y'all, you got that, he make your pussy pop, you got his dick, like, ready, then by all means. You know what I'm saying? But it's best to hold out. Because a lot of you motherfuckers don't be really getting to know these motherfuckers. And then y'all getting in, y'all get to know these motherfuckers. And this is not the motherfucker that you want to be with. You know, move this motherfucker in your house and all types of dumb shit. This motherfucker is a whole derelict outside trying to find him some motherfucking place to live. Like, girls, y'all need to slow it the fuck all the way the fuck down. Oh, and since I'm thinking about that shit, just made me think about this bitch that I know who talking to somebody from prison. <laughs> Them motherfuckers got so much game. If they ain't had no game when they was outside, they and depending on how long they whatever, they in there. They got game. They know how to hit you with all types of shit. And it is funny that the bitches that be falling for it. Cause I mean, yeah, they saying all this hot shit, and you probably done met and the crazy shit is the ones that be meeting the motherfuckers in there. Now that's an exception to every motherfucking rule. But the, but the majority of motherfuckers is popping mad shit. Bitch, then what can they do for you? I mean, besides fuck you real good, probably, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully he has a plan. Not to say that everybody is like, when they come and they stuck, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully not. But it's going to be other options out here, bitch. He going to want to fuck. You and all the rest of these bitches. And you got to be easy with that. And don't be letting these motherfuckers in your house. Especially, like, with, with you. And especially if you got motherfucking children. Slow your hot pussy ass all the way the fuck down. Slow down. Mm-mm. Especially, somebody, like, I just... Uh, I remember one time, y'all know I always got a story. The one time I fucking got black, I saw this, this man. Mind you, you know I'm a little shorty. I'm only, like, five, three. He was he was big, like, six, seven, but like... Like, oh, his body was like, <laughs> like, you just want to play in it. You know what I'm saying? And he was honest told me he just got out of the prison. And I was just like, mm, okay. Mm, mm. That's what I was thinking in my mind. Because, no, it's definitely, no. No, mm -mm, I can't. Because, no, I don't even know. No, but that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that she's supposed to give up on dudes that been in prison because a lot of them come out and they do great things depending on that mindset. You know what I'm saying? But I would suggest, especially for my ladies, like just moving a man in like instant, instantaneous, as soon as this motherfucker get out of prison, like although you've been talking to him, girl, he hitting you with all types of game. All types of game. So be mindful of that shit. So those are my tricks and tips for the motherfucking day. 
Listen, y'all know my name is Real. I'm an intimacy coach, class seductions with the service called Seductive Art. And it is official on November 23rd, Saturday, November 23rd from 7 to 9 p.m. I will be having my Seductive Art workshop. More information is coming. Um, but mind you, ladies, keep in, keep in mind that it's only 10 ladies are allowed. It's a very intimate, quaint space. And... Um, and once the 10 tickets are gone, they, they're gone. So, but I hope that y'all come and join me, you know, with Seductive Art. Let me tell y'all, just in case you don't know, there's visual stimulation, how to visually stimulate your partner in and out of the bedroom. You have to always keep his interest on you and make him focus on you. Um, and also, like, we, we create characters and how to stay in that character to really embody the character of the clothes that you're wearing and like really like you know that takes some time to learn how to to mess to, to to fester that but that and so that's visual stimulation visual stimulation uh then there's real sex talk i think i will have like three topics on the table that we're going to be discussing and i'll let y'all know about that soon and we're going to do like a really brief um ESS Erotic Central Seductive Dance, which I'm going to mainly focus on, is teaching y'all how to walk in heels. Because there really and truly is a technique on how to do it. And also with confidence. Do heels hurt? Yes, they do. Like, well, we're, going to, we're going to go through all that. So I hope y'all join me. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be fun, informative, and interactive. So join me. And um, y'all... No, if I resonate with you, you know what to do. Please hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. And um, y'all know how we lead this motherfucker. Be focused, be grateful, be on time, be loving, be kind, be patient, be pleasant, be great at what you're great at, be confident, be focused, be ambitious. Be supportive. Be a part of your community. Be about your motherfucking money. Black people, be black and proud. Be grateful. Be at peace. Be mindful. Be loving. Be a great listener. Be all these high frequency things because that's how we move in. That's how we move in. And we move in the light of the most high around here. But in the midst of you doing all of that, because we, we are all of that. Don't you ever think twice. Don't you turn the corner. And that is you always be you. Because God made you perfect just as you are until we meet again y'all have a great night peace <laughs>